Hey guys, I'm Gold and I have made a DC till for gamut shaping in DaVinci Resolve. So it's very similar to my gamut manipulator DC till, which you can find up there, but it's more meant for broad strokes. So basically you have a curve that you can manipulate at different points for a specific hue. Well, it's quite complicated to tell you about it. So let me show you. So let's see what this DC tell can do. First off, uh, what I have here is a manual color management system pipeline, you might say, where I'm using the Ari Isabella test image. I'm going from log C3 to Da Vinci intermediate, which is my timeline, color space, and then I go from Da Vinci White Gamut Intermediate to Rec 709. And in between here is a great place to use the gamut shaper. So when you drag this on at first, and yeah, one way is to use the power grade I have provided, another way is to search for the DC till open effect and then browse the drop down from there. When you drop it on at first, you might be a bit confused as half of the frame turns black and this isn't what we signed up for, right? Well, this is the hue selection mode. It's just here to help you find what hue you are selecting. So starting from the top, we have the hue selection, which is the middle of the selected hue range. So let's say we want to choose the greens and then the hue width, self-explanatory, is how wide your selection is. So let's let's see. We want to get some darker greens, and well, if some yellows creep in a bit, I don't think that's too big of a problem. And now, as we have selected the hue, I like to disable the hue selection highlight, and then start working. So down here, we have two sets of five sliders. We have five hue sliders and five saturation sliders, going from high luminance, high mid, mid, low mid, to low luminance. So we have selected our hue target, and now these sliders are additionally being masked by different hue ranges. And when you use the show curves, when you start manipulating these, you can actually see how you're manipulating the whole luminance range. So right here, oh, as, you, as you can see, if I push it really far, something is happening over here. But so little is happening that I don't think this is a great luminance range to use. So I'll head over to the mid Y and oh, this is changing things a lot more. That's better. And now our leaves are quite orange, but I only want that to be in the highlights. So I'll counter that with the next low mid and I'll make them more cyan -y. Not that far, but something along those lines. And then I'm going back and forth to kind of balance them out. And if I do bypass, we can see the before and after. And maybe I also want to desaturate the darker parts a bit. And I can just bypass the saturation adjustment. Yeah, very nice. So I go into full screen and just, uh, let me actually disable the show curves. And now disable the node and do a before and after. Pretty nice. And then when you have done one hue, and you might want to do another, then you can use parallel nodes, that's Alt or Option P. And I can just copy paste the node, hit reload DC till, and choose another color hue range. So let's do some blues. And let's see, maybe lighter blues a bit and darker blues. Oh yeah, this cyan tone is very nice. Don't want to go too harsh with it. Maybe less in the lighter tones to keep her shirt and then more in the darker tones. And maybe also desaturate the, the darker ones. And this is the curve right now. And if I, again, bypass in full screen, you can see what it does, especially well uh, on the color patches here. 
quite nice, I think. And that's how this DC tool works. So if you like it, you can buy it uh, from that link in the doobly-doo, and see ya!